masks are shapes, also known as a clipping path, that mask the layers below it. Only what is within the mask is visible. The clipping path needs to be a vector object, but the object below it can be anything. Let's look at a few uses for this. So let's say that I want these cloud shapes to be clipped by this larger shape so that they appear in a circle format. I'm going to shift click, select all of my shapes. Right now my blue ellipse is on top and I'll go to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. And so now you can see that it trimmed those shapes in the form of that circle. To release that, all I need to do is go Object, Clipping Mask, Release, or use the Quick Actions. I can also enter Isolation Mode and edit the contents. This is going to allow me to make adjustments to my artwork within that clipping group. Another great use for clipping masks is to trim your artwork. So you can see I've got some elements that are hanging off. I'm going to draw a rectangle above this and notice I have no fill and no stroke. And then I'm going to select all of those objects. And again, I can go through the object menu or use my quick actions to make a clipping mask. And now you can see my artwork is trimmed. It hasn't cut anything off, just like before. I can move into isolation mode and still move things. All of that without affecting any of the other objects.